Got him. Got Beautiful fish once again. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> we got one, baby. Come on. Got him. Double trouble, baby. We got him. <laughs> And we're back. Lake Nipissing. It is minus 30 out right now. I'm keeping this short. We're packing up. We're gonna head out. I will keep, I'm freezing my fingertips right now. Minus 30 ain't no joke. Um, I'm in a sweater too right now because I don't wanna get too hot in my gear. But heading out, we're going for burbot exclusive this trip. We may catch some walleye on the way, but we're catching burbot. Stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this. Ooh. All right, we made it. I think it's like minus 20, feeling minus 30. It is freaking cold, put it that way. It is really cold. It's hard to really do anything outside right now. And without your hands or your feet kind of just freezing up. I got ice just forming on my boots, but we're on Lake Nipsing. It is January 19th, I believe. It's a Monday. Oh, no, it's a Friday. I'm staying till Monday, but we're on Lake Nipsing. We're chasing burbot this time. I mean, we might catch some walleye in the midst of being out here uh, during the days, and then we're gonna be on some burbot. Hopefully, I mean, the plan is to be on burbot. I mean, I'm gonna show you what I'm kind of set up on right now, so you can kind of see base where I am. I'm on 29.8 feet. I don't know why my screen was doing that with this GoPro, but it's kind of just like a flat bottom right now. But if you look out here, I got kind of like this. Remember, this is my old school pan optics. This is not live scope, so it's kind of hard to tell what the transitions are, but. I like using it because there's no black box needed. Like it's just simply no black box. But right now we're sitting on 29 feet. I'm gonna show you something now, okay? Oh, oh, sorry. As you saw my GoPro, we were sitting on 29 feet. I'm literally gonna take, I don't know, maybe a couple steps. Let's see this right now. That's sitting at 19, 19 feet. And look how far we are. Literally, that is where I'm set up. That is 30 feet of water that right here is 19 and literally a couple steps we're sitting in 30 um i drilled a ton of holes around here drilled a hole there drilled a hole there there as well as right there feel at 19 and then that was uh i think 17 and then that was 30 again so literally i'm sitting right on that line, that breaking point, which is pretty cool. Oh, I'm gonna get back in there. It is way too cold to be doing it. You can see how crucial those drop offs are. I mean, like, we're sitting on 30, and then just 10 steps behind me is a is a 10 foot ledge now it might not seem like a big ledge 10 feet but that is a very big ledge because those fish are actually going up on top which is probably like three or four feet of water and these fish i'm just sitting right on that ledge so it goes 10 feet this is 30 and this is 10 or whatever it is uh 19 it was reading 19 10 30. that trough is going to act as a highway these fish are going to be rolling through this 30 feet trough wherever that goes and it's weird because just to my right behind me is shallower it comes up to like 17 then it goes 19 19 30 so you can see how that acts is like kind of like a bend point a little turn as you wish and i'm sitting like on that little tip of that turn so wherever that trough is these fish are just gonna be swimming right on that trough line and uh I'm basically just set up right on that edge. I mean, you could set up right on the top. I've seen people catch them right on top of the of the of the humps. Um, 
I truly like to just sit where their home is, uh, where, where they're gonna always wanna go back to even after they eat, where they go to digest, where they're still eating. I like to sit in that like 30 right off the drop. That I think is like a gold ticket because um, you're just gonna see probably more fish. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping we do see a lot more fish tonight. It's my first time out burbot fishing. It's about oh, two o'clock right now, just hit two o'clock. Uh, we came up a little later today just because we're not really too keen on going for the walleye right now. But if we do get in a couple walleye right now, I wouldn't be like mad about it. It'd still be fun. I mean, you're fishing, it's better than working. So regardless, uh, if we catch a few walleye, bonus. But the target species for this trip is burbot. <sighs> well, yeah, we're just chasing some walleye, day one. It's about three o'clock, sundown should be soon. We're just uh, trying to catch a few walleye here. Whoa, whoa, okay, that feels, that feels big, I don't know what the heck that is, that's got weight to it though, I'll tell you that for free, whoa, he's pulling drag, what is it, it's big walleye maybe, oh yeah, what the heck, Oh, big walleye. Big walleye. Oh, that is a nice fish. That is a beautiful nipissing walleye. <laughs> wow. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. We got more down there, but I got to admire this. This guy absolutely hammered that jig and wrap jig and wrap just came out of his face beautiful fish wow <laughs> that is what we come up to late nipissing for awesome walleye like that that is a great daytime fish just amazing check that out we're gonna get that guy back nice and quick right here. See you later, dude. That is the way to start the day. Uh, two minutes in, I literally, I literally was catching like, not even, I'd say four inch fish. They were all small fish, a lot of small fish. And then all of a sudden, I saw that mark come in and I was like, hmm, within like, 10, 15 seconds, that mark came right up. Boom, and he hit it hard. That was a beautiful walleye. <laughs> yes, let's go. Let's get back out there, maybe catch another big one. Find it, find it, got him, let's go, there we go baby, oh, finally, come on, no, oh no, it's like, it's like the third or fourth one I've lost like that at the hole. Not getting a good hook in them. Just not getting a good hook in them. Oh! Come on, fella. Come on. Come on! Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one feels a little better. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. That's where I've been losing them all night is at the damn hole. Yeah, good fish. Not a giant. Comes up backwards though. 
There we go. Hey, leave some fish for me, will you? Oh, he ate that. Let's go. <laughs> we got one, baby. We got another burbot. We were on live earlier today, caught a nice fish. Look at the leopard on him. Super, super nice. Not a giant by any means, but a great start to the night. And see you later. Nice. That is sick. Finally, 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 finally. That's it. Let's get back down there. Let's catch us another burb. Oof. This guy's rolling in hot. Rolling in hot. All over it. All over it. Got him. Little fella. A lot of little guys today. No! No! Come on, come on, got him, that's a better one, yeah, that's a better fish, there we go, oh yeah, this is a good one, yep, I don't know why, but he's got, he's got big head shakes, oh yeah, he's a good fish, Got him. No, I got him. <laughs> Ew. That guy got bit or something. Ooh! That is a nice burbot again. Beautiful fish. Look at this guy. This guy's actually staying straight for me. They usually want to be all curled up. I got to hide behind the fish because he likes to focus on me. Beautiful burbot. You know, we talked about it, how we set up. Set up absolutely perfect. I think this guy got bit by something. Like, that is, those are big marks. Wow. He got chewed for sure. But, beautiful fish. We're going to get this guy back. All right, are you? I'm going to let you go here. Seems like there's another one down there. Come on, Burb. Hit me with your best shot. Hit me with your best shot. Do, 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 do. Hit me with your best shot. Do, do, do. I'll be on set. Oh, hold on, hold on. Marking, marking, marking. Come on. Eat it. Got him. Got another one on the bottom there too. No. I gotta get this down there. We're hooked up on one burb. But there's another one down there. Dropping that right now. Oh no. I think he's in my, he's in my live scope. He's in my live scope. Oh, he got out. Oh, I don't want to. Okay. One burb up. Let's see if we can jam another. Oh my God! <laughs> Yo! Yo, and I need your help. I got two bourbon on the ice right now. What? I'm hooked up on another one. No a good one, yeah, but I got one on the ice here. I need your help, maybe. Oh, shoot. 
I got a burbot on the ice right now. I just I just landed him. And I'm hooked up on another one. Oh gosh. Ah, yeah. I got two burbs. Uh it's okay actually. Hold on. I'll I'll figure it out. I got him. <laughs> what in the tarnation just happened there? Guys, look what this one ate. I knew it. I had an idea. They're eating crawfish. I kept the burbot from like last year. Belly was full of craw. Put on a Hiroshi Nishine finesse jig with a with a craw on the back. <laughs> Got that one. Dude, check this out. <laughs> Double trouble, baby. We got him. <laughs> Yo. All right. We're going to let this little fella go. Throw him down. See you later, buddy. And then this guy. What a beauty. Caught him on the Hiroshi Nishine finesse jig. Thanks, Tal. Appreciate it, buddy. Drop that down right after I hooked that one. Oh, hold on. I got so much light there. And then uh, pretty much hooked this one up. We're going to get this guy back now, too. <laughs> Double trouble. That was crazy. <laughs> crazy. See you later. Got him. Got him. Whoa, this is a heavy fish. I don't know what the hell it is, but we got him. Oh, he just woke up. I got him on the, whoa. I got him. I think it's a big walleye. It is a big walleye. Yep. Yep. <laughs> he's, a, he's a big one. Corner, corner of his face. <laughs> this guy was stalking me forever. And we got one. Nighttime, beautiful walleye. That is a big one. That is a beauty. That's the second big one of the day. Truly, it really is. No, that is for sure. That fish picks it up so lightly, I, so lightly, like crazy. And you know what he got on? You know what I ca caught him on? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I saw this, I saw this jig by Nishine Lure Works at Pro J Tackle and it was on the shelf and I saw the three quarter ounce versus the half ounce. And it was in that perfect green pumpkin. And uh, I put on just a craw trailer. And then under that is a minnow. It's an ugly rig. Oh, and not to mention I added rattles. This bait doesn't come with rattles. I added rattles too. So this is just a big clunk of just, just everything on this bait. Um, I'm running 12 pound Mastiff Shimano fluorocarbon. Right there. 12 pound Mastiff. It's a new line that Shimano has come out with. Um, and I've been using that as my leaders. And sure enough, that thing came along. I was playing that for a while now. I just couldn't get him to bite. Finally, I put this jig down because he wasn't eating my lead jig. So I kind of had a weird off sense about it. I didn't know. I honestly thought it was a sturgeon. I thought it was a sturgeon and I was like, this is a sturgeon. I'm not even going to play with it. 
and sure enough I was like I'm gonna just give that one jig a try drop the jig down tap 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 felt a little bit of weight set the hook sure enough it's a giant walleye <laughs> what a night what a night it is crazy I got that all on GoPro too you can see how he was acting how you how he looked like a burbot but he wasn't quite a burbot wow it's 11 o'clock we're catching him it's pitch black outside let's get back out there catch a few more crazy 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 you know when you're sitting in a bait shop and you're just like you know what I have a feeling these things are gonna absolutely crush this bait so you only buy one of them <laughs> Frick. oh my god literally just that just a finesse jig just a finesse jig what you got to do is make it look as ugly as possible and then you'll catch them so what I do is I usually put the minnow on first and then I hook just like a chunk like a flipping jig chunk just right behind it so then you got your minnow sandwich between the rattle and then the flipping jig chunk and then you just drop it oh my gosh there's another one down there On. <laughs> Dude. On the freaking. On the jig. Kind of feels like another big walleye. Look at that. Just to the dome. Crazy. Another nice burbot. Beautiful. No real big ones tonight, but like if I was keeping them, this is the, this is, the, hey, stop trying to eat my finger, man. Look at that. Look at these fish. They're just beautiful. I love them. The way they are, how they are. That is wild. That is wild. Alrighty. Well, that is a wrap for day number one in the books. Um, it was a great night. Absolutely incredible. Not, there's nothing else to say about it. Um, we're packing up now. It's about almost midnight. The, the hut is so cold. You can see the white rings around each thing it's just ice so we're gonna pack it up uh, we're tired uh, we had a long day um, yeah day one in the books and what a night what a night what a day caught some awesome fish great trophy fish not many big burbot but still a lot of fish um, and yeah so time to head back it is cold it's minus 30 we won't be documenting this ride in usually I'd like to but minus 30 on the fingers when all this hut when that thing gets turned off it is like you gotta move or else you're freezing your butt off so for the most part thanks for tuning in on this one and uh we'll catch you on the next one because we got six days of fishing to show you coming up so make sure you hit that subscribe button throw a comment down in the comment section and uh oh and smash that like button if you haven't already so We'll see you in a bit.